Well, I royally f***ed that up. I just finished a live stream where I was supposed to get this bee done in an hour, hour and a half or so. And I'm just, it's bad. It's, it's so bad. It just, mm, it needed more time. So what are my options? I could start from scratch or I could take what I have now and fix it. And that is what we're going to do tonight. This is going to be super helpful for those of you who work in colored pencil when you hit a point where you can't get more layers on the paper. I'm gonna show you how you can fix that. I say all the time, layer until it looks good. And just because you have a bad layer, that doesn't mean you've ruined anything. However, you can't just keep working without a plan. The first thing that you need to do when you realize things are just not going well, you have to identify the problem. If you don't identify the problem and you just keep working, it's not gonna get any better. In my case, there were three very specific things I needed to work on. One, that background is not dark enough. You can see the bee on the finished one. I've got this beautiful white fluff going around the upper section of his shoulders and his head that doesn't stand out at all on the first one. Very often when something you're doing, you can't get it light enough, it's because what it's up against or next to is not dark enough. So we're going to first darken that background. My second issue is that that flower has no good definition. As I was working, when I first started this and I wasn't rushing, I had those little spiky guys defined, mainly the bases need definition. And as I started rushing, when I went over it with colored pencil, it just kept getting worse and worse because I wasn't taking the time to give it the attention that it needed. So we're going to fix that flower. The third thing that I need to fix on this is the detail on the bee. There just really isn't any. So we're going to fluff him up. Now, I can't go over that background with watercolor because there's too much colored pencil up against it. Colored pencil and watercolor are great for mixed media, but in this case, I've already got colored pencil on the paper. You want to do all of your watercolor first, then go over it with the colored pencil. If I were to do this with watercolor instead of colored pencil, I would get too much watercolor on the bee and the flower, and that's going to create some archival issues for me later on because putting a water-based product, watercolor, over wax and oil-based, not a good idea. My solution to this, I'm just going to do everything in fixing this in colored pencil. I'm going to go over this background in many layers, going back and forth between the color and the white and blending with the OMS. Now, while that layer of OMS dries, I'm coming back through with my secret weapon. This is the Faber-Castell Perfection Eraser. It's very much like, a, think, an ink eraser. It's a rougher eraser than your standard type of eraser. How many times can I say eraser here? But what I'm doing is lifting as much of the colored pencil off that flower. That flower has so much pigment. I went over it so many times in that live stream that it just has too much colored pencil on the paper at this point. What happens when there's too much colored pencil? You can't get a whole lot more. It stops sticking. So what I need to do is bring back the tooth of the paper. I need to get that roughness back so that the pencil will stick again. None of what I have right now is worthy of keeping on that flower so I am just going to erase it all and using a regular eraser it's the pencil kind of gums up on it you, it ends up being still too sleek this is going to rough it up now this paper is a 300 pound hot press watercolor paper it's I can do a lot of erasing and I don't have to worry about damaging that paper too much if you are using a lighter weight paper use a lighter hand and go slow with that eraser so that you don't accidentally put a hole through the paper I spent about 10 minutes carefully erasing everything. Now, another thing I wanna point out, the point of the eraser is not to lift all the color. I'm not trying to make the paper white again. That's just not gonna happen. And especially in this case, I've got a base layer of watercolor under there. I am not trying to get the paper white. I am just trying to lift enough colored pencil that new colored pencil that I take my time with and do well will stick to it. Now I'm going to get a more color saturated base layer on this flower. One of the things I didn't like about it is that I had way too much white. It was way too light. So I'm gonna go through here and darken everything up using my purples and some tan colors. And of course, blending that out with odorless mineral spirits. The OMS will not affect the watercolor that I used as a base layer on this. It won't reactivate it. It doesn't really do anything. This is really only going to affect the colored pencil layers. Now that that background is dry from the previous time of blending it out with the odorless mineral spirits, I'm going to put some more layers on there. Going over that with the white, I want to lighten and soften this up. Not as light as it originally was. We're not going that light, but I do want lighter than what it currently is. 
And of course, blending that out with OMS to smooth everything out. And with my base layers on that flower finally dark enough, I can go ahead and start on the details. And the big thing here is just to take my time. When I was working on the live stream, I should have had this done in about an hour. I was barely done with my base layer of watercolor in that first hour. It just wasn't possible to put in the amount of time needed in this piece, given the amount of time I gave myself. Now that I can go slow, I can really focus on things. Everything is going to be much more defined, much more controlled because I'm not being sloppy. And that's really what the problem with the first attempt was. I was just being sloppy because I was rushing. What I'm doing here, really defining the base of these spikes made all the difference in the world. I thought I could get away with just giving the hint of where the spikes were on this flower. Clearly I couldn't, it didn't work. But you can see now as I'm going through this and just defining those little triangle bases and not just putting a bunch of random lines. Most of my work fixing this was done on this flower, which is not the focal point of the piece, but because I rushed over it, because I skipped it, it pulled the entire drawing down. Going through and taking your time on every single aspect of your painting or drawing will make a huge difference in your work. My next focus is on that bee. I can come around now and get that really white, that backlit glow around his fur really define that. I am using a Derwent Drawing Chinese White, which is a very opaque white pencil, but I'm also going to end up coming through this with my Touch Up Texture Titanium White Mixture and painting on details. Product. This is the Touch Up Texture Titanium White Mixture, and it is intended for colored pencil. It is archival when used with colored pencil. So I mix the two. It's a powder in a liquid form. You mix the two together. You only need want to mix what you're going to use because it dries very quickly. So you mix what you want, and you can paint that on with a brush, as you're seeing me do here. Now I know what you're thinking. Can't I just use acrylic paint, white gouache, ink tens, like any other opaque white and paint over it? No. And the reason for that is your putting this over a base of wax and clay and oil-based colored pencils. You don't want to put a water-based product over wax and oil. And that's what you would be doing if you used acrylic, ink, uh, any of those other things I just mentioned. This is specific for colored pencil. It is going to stick long-term and it is going to be archival. And I'm able to pull out tiny, tiny details that are very opaque that I really can't get quite the same with the colored pencil alone. That doesn't mean if you don't have this product that you can't make it beautiful just with a colored pencil. This just gives me that much more control. I can come through getting these tiny little hairs. And if I decide I don't want this to be completely white wherever I'm painting this, when it dries, I can go right on top of that with a colored pencil. But because I would be going against white, whatever color I put on top of it, let's say I wanted bright pink. I could put bright pink over this and it's really gonna show up. If I put bright pink over just the black pencil that's already down, it's not gonna show up at all. So you can change the color once this dries, just make sure it dries all the way. And I can do the same thing coming on top of this with tiny little details over the flower. And they're really going to show up in a way with that colored pencil by itself was not going to. Just tiny little dots, tiny little details. I let that dry all the way and now I'm able to go over any of those white spots with colored pencil and they're going to stand out and stick. The color will be so nice and vivid where it otherwise would have been more muted mixing with the colors that were underneath. Again, because I'm going over white, they stand out so nicely. Now I just need to spend some more time cleaning things up. You can see like getting this nice clean edge sharp line there. It is now two in the morning. I have been at the easel for way too many hours. My eyes are so blurry. I'm so tired, but it was worth it. I say all the time, just because you have a bad layer, it doesn't mean you've ruined anything. It just means it's not finished yet. And that is exactly what happened tonight. I chose a project that really wasn't possible to make it look good in an hour or two. I should have known better when I looked at that flower, but whatever. When I slowed down, I went through, I was able to fix the mistakes and layer until it looked good. And I'm so glad that I did, because if I didn't, if I would have gotten frustrated, thrown it out, figured, oh, I'm 
just gonna start fresh tomorrow. I would have missed out on this feeling of elation that I currently feel right now. I might be slightly delusional because it's been way too long since I've slept now, but worth it because this is an awesome feeling to take something that you were so not happy with and turn it into something that you love. Don't give up on your work when it hits those ugly stages. Layer until it looks good.